Hey, Ryan Williamson of Sourwood Farm here. This is another one of those episodes of it. It didn't happen if you don't have a video of it, right? So here we go. I had a queen and I shook frames out of this, this colony. It was actually a double deep. And I accidentally shook the queen. And that was over to my, my cell builder. So I'm all the time moving bees into my cell builders. And so down here, you know, I... I realized, oh, there's a there's a queen on the ground. So I pick up the marked queen. I knew which hive I shook her from, and I took her back to the colony. And what do you know? They started to kill her. They balled her. It was only a few hours that she was out of the nest, if that, but they didn't like that. So I caged her. I put her in a push-in cage. And that went pretty well with the exception of one problem, which was during that period they started emergency queen cells and so when i went to release her i did not notice those cells i should have gone through and they started bawling her again well there was one bee that bit her on the leg and wouldn't let go so i thought oh i'll squish the bee no problem the bee died and did not let go that was a whew, couple days five days ago maybe so anyway i pushed her into the cage and there it is five days later the bee is still trying, well, it's dead, and it's locked, locked jawed onto her leg. So I'm afraid that this potential, as she was a great queen, but I'm afraid that she's mortally wounded from my escapades of mistakes. Look at that, still stuck. I was hoping that the attendants in this cage would release uh, that, you know, bite, chew off the bee or something, but that definitely didn't work out. What a bummer. Maybe I'll do some surgery and see if I can save her, but I'm assuming her leg is uh, permanently damaged from that. Well, gotta make mistakes sometimes. Follow up, I squeezed the bee's head and the jaws released and look at that, she seems to be walking pretty normal. So maybe I'll reintroduce her. Pretty cool queens. But I have a nice brood break in the colony, which is good because I'm actually introducing some uh, breeder queens that are coming in. These are II queens from a friend. And it's best to do that kind of like introducing a virgin where you have a brood break so they can't make emergency queen cells. So I'm going to take all the brood out of this colony and make splits, but then introduce her back in so she gets to the, the field bee she likes. Ha! There she is. She's been accepted back in the colony. Appears to be walking okay. A little bit of a limp, which has me a bit worried. I'll monitor him for a little bit longer. Let's see if I can get the angle better for the sun. There we go. Yeah. Looks like she's dragging her back right leg just a tiny bit. But still able to use it. Well, it could be that she can still lay. We'll find out. Kind of amazing she survived that whole ordeal I put her through. Looking in cells. We'll see if she'll lay or not. That's Bruce, so there's no way she's gonna lay there. Okay, it's been a number of days and just checking back in and look at that, she is still walking around, but it looks like something's not totally perfectly right. I see a cell right down, I'm gonna put down this frame, right here, it looks like they're maybe making a supersedure cell. And then on this frame over here, I've got a couple happening right here so she's definitely laying eggs let's see i think on this other side there's an area we can see there you go you can see in the bottom of these cells in here there's eggs so that's a good sign she's laying but if they're making supersedure cells i'm guessing it's because the tarsal pheromones are not quite right from her damage i'm gonna go ahead and squish these down because the other reason is it could just be that she didn't quite have her pheromone profile all the way up and running 
um, due to the caging, long caging that I unfortunately put her through. Uh, we'll have to check back again in a little while, but just thought I'd do an update and um, yeah, there she is. Just laid an egg and nice retinue. Looks like she's taking a nap. <laughs> Gotta love the adventures of beekeeping. All right, August 12th, we're checking back in. It's been quite a long time, and despite tearing down a few of those supersedure cells, what was that, three weeks ago, I'm back in here and they did it again. So there's some supersedure cells going on. They do not look that fantastic. And then looking around, I see no signs of the queen or eggs or really young larvae. So it looks like they made some supersedure cells and then maybe dispatched her or she fell off the comb or who knows what. I've been through the colony twice, can't find her. I'm gonna do it one more time and because these cells don't look that great, I've got some other marked virgins. I'm gonna probably just replace that, uh, tear those cells down and, and drop in a marked virgin that I know is good from good stock. But yeah, it looks like the damage done from that uh, dead bee biting was enough to lower her tarsal uh, pheromones and the bees just weren't too happy with that and so they decided to replace her. That was kind of what I expected to happen. Kind of neat to have what you expect to actually happen because that's not always the case with bees. But um, yeah, always kind of fun to see what happens with bees and experiment a little bit rather than just making a quick decision and, and um, yeah, in the past I would have just pinched her and dropped in something else and been done. But kind of fun to run it through. All right. Thanks for watching and catch you on another one.